Drop it. Hi, good day. Teacher Cern here. For today's video, we are going to learn about a specific type of cooperative learning strategy used inside the classroom. Now, we will learn more about it along the video. The Carousel Learning Strategy is a type of cooperative learning strategy that enables the students in the classroom to engage towards movement, discussion, and reflection. This was developed by Shelley Gray in 2016. Now with the same concept of the Caruso, students as a group in the class will be doing this activity by moving from one learning station towards the other. Now without further ado, let us know the steps and how to apply this cooperative learning strategy. Step number one is to organize your learning stations. Assume you are a teacher who is about to give a lesson on the topic of climate. Now in organizing your learning station, the teacher has to choose specific areas and corners within the classroom as to where the learning process is going to happen. Since the topic involves five different classifications of climate, then there should also be five learning stations. Every learning station will be given the same guiding questions. Students are to collaborate in answering these different questions such as What do people wear in this type of climate? What are the unique cultures and practices found only in this type of climate? Give examples of countries that experience this type of climate. Even though questions are the same for every learning station, Students can still create varieties of answers while answering every learning station. It is because climates are generally different by nature. Step number two, forming carousel teams. Now that the teacher has successfully created learning stations, it is now time to create groupings within the classroom. Now, since we have five learning stations, the teacher will group the students into five and then distribute these groupings towards their designated learning stations. Step number three is jotting down the answers. This is a process by in which everything is ready and every group is in place. Then they can start answering their guide questions through their carousel sheets. Carousel sheets are papers where every group will write their answers. Every group must be made informed that there should be no repetition of answers in every learning station. Therefore, if a group cannot answer a guide question in a certain learning station, then that group can just skip. When all are done answering, then every group can now rotate towards the other learning stations. The next step is synthesizing thoughts. In this process, every group in the classroom has successfully rotated and answered every learning station in the classroom. Then, this is the time for every group to collect the data gathered in their every carousel sheets. Then every group has to prepare themselves for a reporting and has to choose a reporter. Step number five is taking the test. This is the last step in the Carousel Cooperative Learning Strategy where every student in the class has already collected all the ideas and learnings from the activity. Students in this process has to undergo brainstorming as a preparation for the upcoming test that is to be given by the teacher. That is all for today's video and I will see you on the next one. Goodbye!